Ever notice those funky, upward curving tips on airplane wings? And wondered why massive wings really need these little extensions? You might think they're just a design quirk, but these subtle extensions, known as winglets, are engineering marvels that have a massive impact on how planes fly. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in this video, we're peeling back the layers of winglet science to answer all your burning questions, from their origin story to the aerodynamic magic they perform in the sky. The story of winglets takes us back to the 1970s, a period characterized by an oil crisis that left industries scrambling for fuel-efficient solutions. Richard T. Whitcomb, an aerodynamicist at NASA's Langley Research Center, known by his immense contribution to the development of the area rule design, which majorly improved the performance of supersonic aircrafts. But this time, his focus was on reducing the drag created by wingtip vortices, those spirals of turbulent air left in the wake of an aircraft's wingtips. In a series of wind tunnel tests, Whitcomb demonstrated that adding vertical extensions which he called winglets, to the tips of wings could dramatically reduce these vortices. This, in turn, would enhance lift and decrease drag, leading to more fuel-efficient flights, exactly what world of aviation demanded at that time. But despite the promising research, the aviation industry was initially slow to adopt this groundbreaking technology. The hesitancy was primarily due to two factors, the added weight and structural challenges of retrofitting existing aircraft and the prevailing conservatism in an industry that tends to be risk averse. Fast forward to the late 1980s and early 90s and you'll find that the tide began to turn in favor of winglets. Boeing decided to equip its new 747-400 model with winglets as a standard feature, citing significant improvements in flight efficiency. This decision marked a pivotal moment, offering a commercial stamp of approval that was hard to ignore. Soon, Airbus, McDonnell Douglas, and other major aircraft manufacturers began to explore winglets in their designs as well. To understand how winglets work, we need to know a little more about aerodynamics. The wing of an airplane creates lift by generating a difference in air pressure between the top and bottom surfaces. Air moves faster over the curved top surface, resulting in low pressure, while the air moves slower below, resulting in high pressure. This difference in pressure produces lift, but also leads to the formation of wingtip vortices. Wingtip vortices are spirals of turbulent air that form at the ends of the wings and trail behind the plane. They happen when high pressure air from below the wings rushes to the lower pressure area above, making a mini tornado at each wingtip. These vortices make it harder for the plane to move forward and fly well. More drag means the engines have to work harder to keep the plane moving at the same speed and height, and this uses more fuel. This is where winglets come into play. By extending either upward, downward, or in a split design, they trap some of this swirling air reducing the strength of the vortices, and by extension, the induced drag. They essentially act like a barrier that prevents the high pressure air from the bottom from rolling over to the low pressure area on the top. The result, enhanced lift and reduced drag. A key case study in the adoption of winglets is the Boeing 737. When the next generation 737s rolled out in the late 90s, the models came with an option for blended winglets. Airlines that opted for these winglets reported fuel savings of up to 7%. It might not seem like a lot, but when you're moving thousands of gallons of jet fuel over long distances, the savings are pretty significant in terms of both cost and carbon emissions. Once aircraft manufacturers realized that winglets could improve efficiency, a competition began to create the best design. Even today, engineers are searching for the optimal winglet design, which can vary depending on the size and purpose of the jet. 
Let's take a look at some of the different types of winglets they've developed. The most common types you'll see are the upturned winglets, and among those, the blended variant is particularly popular. The curve is smooth and transitions gradually from the wing, optimizing aerodynamic efficiency. These winglets can usually be seen on a variety of Boeing aircraft, such as the 737 Next Gen and retrofitted versions of the 757. Surprisingly, even smaller business jets like the Gulfstream G650 feature these winglets. Non-blended upturned winglets are typically more angular and may not provide the same level of efficiency as their blended counterparts. However, they are still more effective than having no winglets at all and are significantly cheaper than blended winglets. One of the earliest adopters of non-blended upturned winglets was the famous 747. Next, we have a proprietary winglet design made by Airbus, made specifically for their newest generation of aircraft. Called Sharklets, they are tall, upward-curving winglets that offer some of the best aerodynamic performance, according to Airbus. They were first seen on the A320neo and are now standard equipment for the A330 as well. Wingtip fences are small vertical surfaces that extend both above and below the wingtip. They are less effective than full-blown winglets, but also less expensive to produce and install. Airbus used to use these on older A320 models before sharklets were introduced, and some regional jets, such as the Bombardier CRJ series, also feature these winglets. Split scimitar winglets are a newer design developed by Boeing, and they are my personal favorite in terms of design. They resemble a combination of an upturned and a downturned winglet. And by combining the best elements of both, Boeing claims to achieve a significant increase in efficiency. These winglets are most commonly seen on the Boeing 737 Next Gen lineup, particularly the 737-800 and 737-900ER models. Winglet engineering is always striving for more efficient solutions. Interestingly, their focus is not limited to fuel efficiency. For example, the newest Boeing 777X features folding wingtips, which technically appear to be winglets. Designed to fold upward when the plane is on the ground, this feature is intended for airports with limited space. By the way, what type of winglets you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. It's always so fascinating to see how even the smallest innovations can have a significant impact on aerodynamic performance, fuel efficiency, and sustainability within aviation. As new technologies continue to emerge, the aviation industry has proven its willingness to embrace change and drive progress, despite of being one of the most conservative industries of the world. Whether you're boarding a short flight regional jet or a long haul luxury airliner, remember, that a pair of these small wing extensions are working tirelessly to make your journey more efficient. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating aviation videos.